One. A ribbon cutting ceremony ended almost four years of construction on the fourth bore of the Caldecott Tunnel east of Oakland in Northern California, opening the new tunnel to foot traffic before ending decades of delays for San Francisco Bay Area commuters. Now we know it's not going to eliminate all congestion, but it's going to do great things in that the estimations are cutting off 12 minutes of idling and greatly reducing the weekend uh, congestion. And all of these things, not only convenient for those of us who have to travel, but also very good for our air quality, because those idling cars are the thing that make the worst pollution. Excavation on the two-lane tunnel with its seven cross passages began in August 2010 by contractor Tuta Saliba and its subcontractor Foxfire Construction. NATAM, or sequential excavation of the 3,300-foot-long tunnel, advanced from both portals, with breakthrough of the top heading coming in December 2011. The $420 million project was delivered on time and under budget, with no adjustments to the original budget or schedule, a major accomplishment for the contractor, the construction manager Parsons Brinkerhoff in joint venture with NATAM specialist Gal Zeidler, and Caltrans. You're going to hear it again and again about this being on time and, uh, and under cost. And I want to salute an incredible workforce of trained, skilled, experienced construction workers who made this all possible across the trades. It is the first NATAM tunnel for the contractor, and it is the largest and one of the first NATAM tunnels for the designer Jacobs Associates. This is a prime example of that it can be done. Geotechnical engineer Greg Corbin sat on the project's design review board for Caltrans. If the design package is, is, is a good one, and if the contractor has qualified people, particularly tunnel superintendents and people who really understand this doing the work, it can be successful. The Secretary of the U.S. Department of Transportation was at the tunnel dedication and reminded everyone that the project received one of the largest Recovery Act grants from the federal government and President Obama's administration. Who oh, in the depths of recession and economic tumult had the presence of mind to remind our country that great things are still worth doing and investments in our infrastructure can help us lead to economic growth. The tunnel, complete with in-situ concrete lining and a plastic sheet waterproofing system, also includes 19 ventilation fans, brighter lighting, emergency exits along the length of the tunnel, and state-of-the-art fire and life safety systems. You have the, the high-band radio systems, you have NOx sensors, you have carbon monoxide sensors, and then if they rate too, if they trigger too high, then the fans will come on automatic. Cameras, the whole thing is all instrumented to take a look and make sure you can see all corners of that tunnel and cross passages, seven cross passages cutting over into Boar's Three. So there's a lot of safety features in this tunnel. In my opinion, it's the safest tunnel probably in the United States today. Well, I'm saying this is a console. We got a report of a uh... An accident. The incident detection and response systems of the tunnel underwent extensive testing before the opening with a fire simulation and activation of the 19 jet fans. Uh, 200 horsepower once they get going. Uh, when 19 of them are going, you're looking at about 20 to 30 miles of wind blowing the smoke out. The tunnel provides congestion relief to residents and workers east of San Francisco Bay and brings to an end the daily process of switching the traffic directions of the third board to accommodate travel between Alameda and Contra Costa counties. In Northern California, Paula Wallace on assignment for Tunnel Talk.